There are boots on the ground in Flint going door to door with free bottled water. It's part of the governor's emergency declaration he made a week ago, and today he's still taking heat for falling short on supplies. The now's the now Detroit's Jim Kirstner is live in Flint with the latest. This is one of five Flint fire stations where they're handing out the free bottled water, and they just got in a new supply of the filters that people can attach on their faucets at home. But take a look at the demand. This has been a crazy place all afternoon, and they are still out of the lead testing kits that people can use at home. And take a look at the boots on the ground out in the neighborhoods. This is the picture they want you to see. Now, since the state emergency declaration, some of these volunteers are from Detroit. You're going to meet one of those in just a moment. Genesee County Sheriff has been out here doing this since last week, but there are now dozens more on the streets of Detroit today. It was the governor's emergency manager who ordered Flint off the Detroit water system and started using the Flint River water back in April of 2014 all to save money. The river was more corrosive and it caused lead to leach into the drinking water of 100,000 Flint residents. They're still mad today and they blame the governor. So are you telling me you drank this for over a year? Mm -hmm. Now what do you make of that? Um, well, I'm 62 and I hope to make it to 63, you know, so it's bad, it's bad. You know, people are calling for impeachment of our governor. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. I want him to stay in office and see what mess he's created here. I want him to see the people he's hurt. We have a lot of members in the Flint area. We have a large um, population of our membership here, so it's important to us. It's, we And as the UAW, we are a social group and we like to give back when we can. Now, as we speak, they got just another supply of bottled water, and I can tell you everywhere the governor goes, he's continually asked about that and this, including this morning at the Detroit Auto Show. I guess we it, asked difficult questions. Um, we got answers that weren't correct. Is and this so your legacy? Now we found out. No, is this, this isn't leg my legacy. This is part of my legacy. I am responsible for the entire state and our operations. Now, this latest supply of bottled water, and again, these filters are coming from the state, but how much are they spending on this? And when are they going to fill the gap of not enough of these and no of the lead, none of the lead test kits at home? We're going to have those answers for you next hour at 5. For now, I'm live in a hectic fire station in Flint. Jim Kurtzner, the now Detroit. All right, thank you, Jim. Stay with 7 Action News. We will continue to keep a close eye on the water crisis in Flint so we can bring you the latest developments both on air and on WXYZ.com.